Pom 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 The main point of this animation is that properties of energy, such as reflectance and heat transfer, interact with the properties of matter, like density of liquids, buoyancy of warmer particles, to create an environment that is complex, varying in temperature and light and moisture. It also sets up currents that move heat and materials through an ecosystem. Other variables such as pH, nutrients, and oxygen levels help to create even more complexity. This complexity affects where organisms will be found. For example, plants that need sunlight will only be found in depths of water that allow light to penetrate. Therefore, when we see a distribution of plants and animals, it may inform us of the underlying abiotic conditions of that area. It's easy to see how abiotic or non-living components affect organisms, but how do you think organisms affect abiotic components? This has been a Paper Pushers production.